Hey guys, welcome to another After Effects tutorial. Um, today we're going to be talking about motion tracking inside of After Effects. Basically what motion tracking does is um, say you have a poster on the wall and you want to replace the poster. So you have your footage, goes through. Motion tracking will allow you to put another image or video in the same place as the poster and it will look as if the poster is really different. Um, this can be used for a lot of different things, but this is the basic effect. So the first thing you're going to do is bring your footage into After Effects and make a new composition. Um, create a new null object. Before we do any tracking, we need a place for our... Um, tracking data to go so we'll just rename it tracking and then double click your footage layer and then come up to window and bring up your tracker controls and we're going to select track motion um, we're going to make sure we select position and rotation then we're going to come over here. After Effects has put two uh, tracker points on our footage, and we can move these around. Just You're going to want to find two spots where something stands out. Like, for example, I, there's a white spot in my wall, so that stands out, so we'll just put a tracker there. And then there's this white boxy thing against the black. And put it there. Make sure our footage is at the uh, beginning of the composition. And we're going to hit Analyze Forward. As you can see, After Effects is now tracking our footage. Once After Effects is done tracking, uh, you should go through and make sure that uh, the tracker point is uh, sticking to the right spot in most parts. It shouldn't be too big of a deal if it gets off in some places. Then uh, come over to Edit Target and make sure that your null object is selected. Then come over here and hit Apply. Apply dimensions X and Y, OK. And as you can see, After Effects has put a null object that sticks to the poster. You can scrub through your footage and you can see it sticks. So now we're going to bring in our background image, or in my case I have a jump back. I'm going to scale it, scale your image to the size of the poster. As you can see, if you go through it, it doesn't stick yet, because we haven't parented it to our null object. So, there's two ways you can do this. You could use the parenting pick whip and click and drag over to your null object or you could come to the drop down menu and select your null object either one will work and once you've done that you can now see that your background is now sticking to the poster and that looks pretty good um, again like I said this is the basic effect you know if you like this tutorial subscribe you could rate this video or you could comment either one's good so, uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.